cloud. As you can see, it's a beautiful snowy scene. Uh, Siberian weather that's moved into the UK. Uh, greetings to everyone uh, watching and viewing this. Um, I'm just going to give a brief, just a brief thought um, report. I'm going to give what I'm going to be doing in the new year. Just to say hi, I'm still here. It's a beautiful day. I mean, this is really nice. I'm very cold. Um, I'm going to give a basically a watchman report, and I'm going to walk and talk so I can think better as I as I walk, rather than concentrating on myself and my face and being self-conscious. So I'm just going to walk and talk, and happy New Year to everybody, and peace to any brother and sister in Christ and may peace be found to those who are seeking the truth, seeking answers to to life and looking for hope, looking for salvation. Um, I'm at my journey's end here, I've walked to the, the park just to do a video and that's really how I came unto Christ myself. I come to the end of myself, I realised I was a very broken person, very hurt, very sinful, and I realised I was, in my heart, I knew I was no good, I knew the world was no good, and I didn't want to be part of that, and I, and I needed salvation. And that, that brought me to the cross, to the finished work of Christ, so anyone who's seeking that, that hope and life and, and purpose and deliverance from an awful situation, I just invite you to seek the living God, to seek Jesus, just to call him. And that's all you need, is to call him with all your heart in faith and humbly. And he's, he's a lawful, faithful God. He, he's faithful to answer and he will save you. And you will be placed on his, his rock. You will have his love within your heart in, and that will never leave you. And you will be, and you'll be saved forever because it's eternal. And salvation's today, and that's uh, we only get one life. So I'd like to extend that um, invitation to anyone seeking the truth. You don't, you, you don't need to follow men. Don't, please don't follow my example. I'm, I'm a student in, in life, in the scriptures. It, as a Christian, I'm a, a junior. I, I'm learning and growing, and I, I'm still a sinner. I still, you know, I still battle with with sins, my old nature, my flesh. It's very hard being, it's easy to be saved and believe, but living as a believer, it's very hard because it's day to day, you, you, you have to pick up your cross, you have to give up yourself. And when, you, when, you, when your nature's against that, it, it, it's discipline and, and you need the Lord's help. You need, the, you need that strength and blessing and grace. And that's what it's about, grace. It's a free, salvation's a free gift. And why miss it? It's there, it's yours to, to receive, it's been dispensed. So anyone seeking and would desire to be saved, it's a free gift and it, 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 it's yours to receive. And the Lord's gonna come back soon, so it's the last days. We're living in the last days. So I'm going to walk and finish my thoughts, and then uh, then I've got to do my shopping. So um, have a have a, a good New Year, and I hope hope your circumstances are improving, and uh, and and you found peace in your life uh, and joy and purpose. So um, all the all the best, and uh, I'm going to walk and and talk. So excuse the uh, shaking, so as I said, we're living in the last days, we're, th this is, um, biblically speaking, we are in the church age, the, the old covenant to the Jews is finished and Jesus Christ uh, ministered on the earth, the Son of God, he was sent from the Father from heaven, the Word, and he died for the sins of all men, and it's a free gift, and he left all sin on the cross and he he was sinless and holy he was he was a man 100% man and 100% holy god eternal 
he was the son of God, the son of the living Father, and he, he's always existed in the Father, in heaven, and he's the only man to grace this earth who, who died selflessly, sinlessly, innocently, to pay our price, to pay for our guilt. And if you don't think you're guilty, I just invite you to ch really check yourself, check the world, check history, and check the truth, because the truth doesn't lie. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't need frills and bells. It, it, it's not exclusive. It, it's on offer for everybody. We're living in evil times. The world is wicked. This this world is fallen. It, it's dominated by Satan and his principalities. And it, um, there's there's two camps of people. The Bible says there's. There's the church of the devil, and we're all born in sin. We're all born fatherless, spiritually fatherless, um, separate from God. We don't know God. We, we, we're, we're born with a sense of God, with gifts. We're, we're products of his creation, but we don't know him. We're born outside of his, his love, his grace. He's loved us once on the cross. But to know his love, you have to receive his son. If you reject his son, you reject his heart, you reject everything, his creation, his life, and that is wicked. And wickedness means unbelieving. And ev everything you do that is founded on unbelief is sin. And sinners go to hell, because God's eternal. And that is the simple gospel. Repent unto God. Repent means to just come to an end yourself and look to the, the salvation, the only hope, the only way, the only light, the only, only thing that's free, the only thing that's with, oh, priceless. You can't put a price on it. It's eternal. It's a free gift from God, from a loving creator that loved us, that loves us. But to know that love, you have to receive it. And this is the church age, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a Christian age of grace. And today the, the, the whole Christian body that you see in the world, uh, Christian, Christianity, is very separate from what a Christian is and what believers are. And the church body is dotted around globally. It's not an organization, and religion is an imitation. It's Satan's imitation and the world's imitation to dominate it and own it. And over the years, it's been infiltrated. It's all these, all, all these faith systems are ecumenical. They're all joined in the same group. They all look independent on the, on the face and on the window dressing, on the wind shop window front, but they're all managed by the same hands, the same influences. Sometimes that's directly, sometimes it's ambiguously. And this is what, this is against the truth, the simplicity of Christ and the believers. And they're also against the children of Israel, the Jews. They hate the Jews. The world hates Israel because it, it's a testimony of God's truth. God's son, God's people, God's earth, God's creation. And that's why the world hates Israel, anything to do with the Israelites. And they're not a perfect people, they're a sinful people. They're like just everyone else. And we're living in a world where we've got this enemy. And that enemy is the Roman Catholic Church. It's, it, it's always been against freedom. Anything, anything free, it's against. And, and they, they formed what's called uh, against the, um, the reformation of the, the free gift of the, the scriptures, the preserved word, the living word, the written word in the King James Bible. It was a free gift and, and it, it cannot be removed. And the enemy is against that and it's tried to corrupt it. And religion is against it. Religion doesn't believe it or teach it. It teaches its own idea and it's got its own Bibles and, it, and it's a counterfeit. Church is, is believers in Christ. It's a foundational rock that's established. It's free. It's always been established and nobody owns it. Religion doesn't own it. These are all false systems. They're all crooked and make merchandise of people. And we're in the last days and there's very few it's a very narrow 
opportunity to be safe and there's a broad opportunity to be deceived there's so many distractions in life and you never know what's around the corner and if you haven't been saved and you die you remain lost and the enemy is getting stronger and stronger and stronger uh, and we've got this targeting we've got this global genocide we've got um you know the outroll of mk ultra we've got paedophiles we've got iniquity and corruption in high places and w the world's up against it the nation's heads are up against it and they they need they need prayers we need we need the breaks on iniquity and wickedness and lawlessness and that's what the bible gives us it gives us the law it gives us freedom it gives us the right it gives us the law on our side it gives us god's rights god's laws and it gives us peace it gives us hope but this world is never it's not going to get better it's going to get worse and um i've noticed the increase it's just it's just exhilarating and and, it, and we are living in the last times the saviour could come back any any time soon it could be today i don't know nobody knows but it's imminent and then then's going to come what the the period the book of revelation speaks about it's the tribulation period it's it's ahead it's to come and the, and then and then the gospel gospel is going to be all the all, the, all god's t attention is going to be returned to israel and he's going to use that little group of people and he's going to pour his wrath out on all the pe the rest of the world and he's going to remove he's going to preserve his people his church his bride of the church age and then it's going to go into wrath and judgment he's going to open the door and he's going to he's going to his mercy is going to be paused and he's going to on the gentiles and it, it's going to be his salvation is going to be restored to the jews that's where it came from that's who it is for originally for everybody and that, that period is a seven year period of outpouring of judgment and and that's what this beast uh, system is about that's what the world's about that's what that's all the monopolies all the religious heads all the state heads all the all, all the shadow darkness of mankind is conspiring against our freedom against our rights and that was being revealed from the beginning of man because god knows what's in the nature of man and it's all laid out for us and you can be saved you can be delivered from it and that's my watchman report where it's increasingly um difficult times tribulation persecutions and uh wickedness in high places and the only salvation is in jesus christ and uh and his word and there's nothing all else is in vain all else is um a probation life's a probationary period and today is the day of salvation you, you only get one shot and and god wants all men to be saved jesus died for all men and he's promised He's faithful to his promise and you call his name, he'll answer. You'll know him personally. You'll know his love. You'll know his bounds for you. You'll know, you'll know that you're loved and you'll know you're saved. And you'll be able to hold on to that and grow in that and rest in that for the rest of your life. No matter what you face, you know that when you die, you've got a creator that's delivered you and saved you. And while you're alive, whatever you suffer you've got a wonderful opportunity to to reach out to other lost souls who don't know god who, who who haven't been saved who are lost you know i was lost i was a sinner i didn't know what the purpose of life was no one no nobody gave me a book of instruction you know i had to i had to seek and and where i was looking i you know i was looking in the wrong direction so I was following my own my own beliefs, my own way, and the whole world's the same. It all goes its own way, and Christ is the exemplar. He came to show us the way. He convicted everybody of being liars, sinful. He explained why we are 
and how he created us and how sin entered into the human genome, how that is inherited and how that is excrementally increasing and mankind's ego wants to try and fix it and make it all right and better. He can't because the world's fallen and it can never, never ever be fixed, not by man, it needs to be you know, by the a divine hand, an almighty, powerful, intelligent hand that, that we just simply haven't got the comprehension of the, uh, of the more the more questions we ask, the more and answers we find, the more questions it opens, and and it go on forever and ever and ever. Man, man's a liar, and the devil's a deceiver, and he's deceived all mankind. In think, you know, and unbelief. If you do, people don't know God because they don't believe. Because they don't believe, they don't find Him, and that's a simple gospel. So um, I'm going to be doing some, just some simple. Um, um, I'm not really um, a strong elder in the in, in, in the church, in the body of Christ. I'm I'm, I'm kind of in a um, in my sick bed, really, and um, but I am going to be doing some teaching videos of things I've learned that I, that I hope will equip other brothers and sisters that are perhaps listening and uh, watching and I'm going to do you know ba some ba basic stuff and outline the gospel in more detail with, with, with the scriptures and I'm going to share some um, my next video is going to be how I say simply the, the actual experience of it and um, I'm going to take it from there. So I just want to um, reach out really in faith and hopefully that, that this reaches somebody uh, in the year 2018, February, uh, nearly March, January, February, March. Yeah, it's nearly March. This year has flown by. Time flies. You just never know. So if you're not saved, it's an invitation to get saved. And if you are saved, it's just to a greeting and encouragement and blessing for you to, to grow in the Lord and experience that like abundance of life is promised and in service and you know in in, in love. You know, sharing the gospel, reaching out to people. And that's all I hope to do. That's all that's all I'm worth. That's a, um you know, I'm in debt to the Lord. I owe the Lord everything, and it, and like the word says, it's a reasonable service to give your time and you, and you, and your body and your life. And you know, He's given me His life. I want to give give my life. You know, whether that's in service or sacrifice or whatever, uh, I'm going to leave that to the to the Lord. I trust the Lord. So any, anyone who's um, a new believer, just trust the Lord always. Tr start start where you started and start there every day be thankful and and know that you're saved and, and, and confess your sins and stay close to the lord study you know study your scriptures find a good bible teacher or a, a study book or a study video a study course and check them out study everything and do it do it in faith and do it in prayer and, and continue on as you did at the first because um it's very easy to stray, it's very easy to get despondent, it's very easy to fall to despondency and then sin sin comes and takes a foothold and then and and, and then you then you take a knock and then you, you know you you can be it can wear you out. So any anyone who's having a hard time I'd just like to encourage you to you know get up and know you're loved, know you're blessed and uh you can do wonderful things, and I, and I pray that uh, you enjoy this lovely scene, and where you are, you're enjoying the cold. So over and out, and Maranatha.